During the 1960s, the Khmer Rouge operated as a sort of armed enforcement brigade for the communist government of Cambodia. Although they were not particularly popular among their citizens, especially in the cities, after a military coup removed the ruling monarch, an act which upset a lot of Cambodians, the Khmer Rouge saw an opportunity to gain both popularity and power. Allying with the former monarch, they began a five-year battle to reinstate him to his former position. Although they were eventually successful, the first thing they did upon seizing power was to exile the prince and install their own leader, Pol Pot, as head of the country. Pol Pot was a huge fan of Cambodia's rural tribe and quickly set about remodeling the country in their self-sustaining image. Thousands of people were literally worked to death on the farm collective set up, and the new regime executed hundreds of thousands of people whom they deemed to be enemies of the state. Intellectuals were targeted, with the bar for being an intellectual allegedly set at wearing glasses or being able to speak a foreign language. An estimated two million people were executed under this regime before Pol Pot was finally removed from power by the Vietnamese army.